Okay, now that you've got your wall plates cut to length, you're going to want to lay out your studding. As I mentioned earlier, there is uh, three normal spacings for studding, which is a 12 inch on center, a 16 inch on center, and a 24 inch on center spacing. Um, in my particular situation, I'm going to use a 16 inch on center, but for explanation purposes, I'm going to go through the three different ways for you today. In this particular wall, I am going to have a doorway uh, approximately here. Uh, for explanation purposes, I'm going to go through uh, regular spacing for you at first and then show you how to measure out where to put the door in after. So our studying material is uh, inch and a half thick. So that's very important because when we're making our indicator lines for placement of the studs, uh, if we want our stud to land center of the, the 12 inch line or center of the 16 inch line or center of the two foot line which we were doing we need to subtract off half the thickness of the material so that we can put an indicator line there uh, which will create the center spacing for the studding. With your tape measure clipped on the end to do a 12 inch on center spacing or one foot on center spacing you're going to find the 12, the one, the 12 inch line, subtract back three quarters of an inch and mark a line. Then you're going to find the two foot line, subtract back three quarters of an inch, mark a line. You're going to find the three foot line, subtract back three quarters of an inch, make an indicator line. Four foot line, mark back three quarters of an inch, indicator line. Five foot, mark back three quarters of an inch, indicator line. Now you are going to place your stud edge on this line and to create its center you want to place the stud on that side of the X. So I like to put a X indicating the side of the stud that I'm going to or the side of the line that I'm going to put the studding on. Now that you've got that ready, you take your framing square, set up on the line, and mimic that line down below. So this piece of material is representing our studding material. Now that I've got the indicator line marked here, and the X on that side, when I space my wall apart, I'm going to nail it on that side of the line, the bottom identically the same, and when you measure from the edge, you're hitting center marking for the three foot spacing. Um, go back here, you're hitting your two foot on center spacing. So that's how to lay out a wall on a 12 inch on center spacing. Okay, another uh, on center spacing that, that is commonly used is a 24 inch on center spacing or a two foot on center spacing, which is the same. Um, in this basement, I've used that over here. It is used to hold insulation of that size. Okay, so the layout for a 24 inch or two foot on center spacing is very similar to the 12 inch or one foot on center spacing. Um, you're basically just going on two foot increments. So we've already got that marked. So you go two foot, measure back three quarters of an inch, mark your line. You would go four foot, measure back three quarters of an inch, mark your line. Six foot, measure back three quarters of an inch, mark your line. Eight foot, measure back three quarters of an inch, and mark your line. Um, in 24 inch on center spacing, uh, you do save some studding, obviously, but the wall is not as strong and is more susceptible to warping just because of the less material. Now I'm gonna show you how to do a 16 inch on center spacing, which is the spacing I'm going to use for this wall. Uh, clip your tape on the end, and again, find the 16, measure back three quarters of an inch, mark your X. Find the 32, 
measure back three quarters of an inch, mark your X. Find your 48, measure back three quarters of an inch, mark your X. 64, measure back three quarters of an inch, mark your X. 80, measure back three quarters, mark your X. 96, measure back three quarters, mark your X. 112, measure back three quarters, mark your X. Now there's no need to mark your start and your finish. And I'm not too sure if you've noticed, but uh, 16 on center spacing is the most commonly used spacing. And it is indicated by most tape measures in a red or a different number. So it's quite easy to uh, pick out, as you can see here, with the 64, the 80, and the 96.